Hi everybody, this is Sensei Jerry Valido representing Valido Martial Arts and Philippine Urban Martial Arts. This is the first uh, offering of what I call practical personal protection. This uh, video, particular video, is going to be focused upon something known as weapons of convenience or weapons of opportunity. So, uh, the first thing I want to do is show all of you a uh, quick uh, video that I took from a newscast that happened uh, recently, uh, just earlier this week, and let you watch that, and then we'll get back into a little more elaboration on the subject. Okay, so check this video out. From a 16-year-old girl who fought back and escaped an attempted kidnapping. NBC4's Hetty Chang live in Apple Valley after speaking with both the mother and the daughter tonight. Hetty? Colleen, we're talking about a very brave 16-year-old girl. Not only did she have the insight to pick up a piece of junk she noticed on the side of the road to protect herself, but she took her chances. She fought back, even getting into another stranger's car to escape. The girl was near the end of her two-and-a-half-mile trek home from Apple Valley High School around 2.30 today. This is the old doorknob she found on the side of the road. She picked up her protection after she said she had a feeling she was being followed. Moments later, the old man was yelling at him, just grab her, just grab her. She says a younger man in his 20s or 30s jumped out of the passenger side of an older model red Dodge Charger, grabbed her by the arm. I kicked him in the leg and then I think he fell and then I grabbed the item from my other hand and I swung it really hard with all my muscle and I hit him in the head. She says both men sped off just as she noticed a woman approaching in another car. This lady, she, like she stopped and she was like, are you okay? And I was like, no, I'm just scared. I'm just scared that I was so beautiful. <laughs> the woman took the victim home. The victim was not seriously hurt. She's now terrified to go back to school. My daughter fought through it and I don't want no other child to go, go through what my daughter just went through today. That was a pretty crazy video, right? I mean, this young lady uh, had to fight for her life. She found on the ground this old broken down doorknob and used that to attack the attacker, used that to hit her assailant and, uh, you know, it assisted in her getaway. So the point of this video is your environment offers you weapons of convenience, weapons of opportunity. Uh, that's one of the things that I try to emphasize in Philippine urban martial arts. The Filipino martial artist always has weapons at their disposal, whether they're carrying them or not. So that's one thing I kind of want you to remember, okay? I'm going to show you a couple videos here, and I want you to try to see if you can find weapons of opportunity or weapons of convenience in these videos, okay? Check this out. So the point I'm trying to make is that wherever you look, wherever you are, you have weapons at your disposal. Whether it be the wall of a building, the ground itself, a clump of dirt that you could pick up and toss into the attacker's eyes, a little twig or a branch that you can use and, and uh, uh, poke into the attacker's face or eyes uh, to use as a you know uh, an impact weapon. Um, anything you can pick up. Whatever it may be, you have to have your eyes open, you have to have your mind open so that you know how to look for and find these weapons of convenience. These practical personal protection videos are for you. They're for you to open your mind, they're for you to be able to take the knowledge with you on a daily basis and know that you have something that you can pull from uh, and draw from to use in the event, in the unfortunate event, that you get attacked. I hope that never ever happens to any of you, but practical personal protection uh, will be here to offer you these ideas and these new ways of thinking for you to protect yourself, okay? 
So I hope you enjoyed this first installment. I'm Sensei Jerry Valido representing Valido Martial Arts and Philippine Urban Martial Arts. All of you be safe, be healthy, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.